Um, hi everyone. We got a... I honestly think we have a ladybug breeding shed. They're all inside of it. They're all over it. They're like everywheres. The other day when we were doing the the greenhouse and unloading it, there was some. We just thought it was maybe a swarm going through, but when we opened the door, there's like ladybugs flying everywhere. Yeah, they're all in the shed, they're on the ceiling, they're all over the floors. And come to think of it, when we when we first got here, I think I remember there being a lot of dead ladybugs on the on the on the shelf on the side of it. There were. There was a whole bunch on the on the shelves, and then there was some on the bottom on the floor that we swept them all out. I don't know. Not ladybugs. Now what? we just need the garden so that they'll eat the aphids in the garden. Yeah, yeah. Because they're, they're just everywhere. And they're still coming. They're flying over and, and landing. Hmm. I, gotta, I gotta show you this. You can see them. There's a few on the doors, but look in here. Let me if I can get you in here. They're all over the ceiling. They're just all over in here. Look at all over here, up here. They're everywhere. Ooh, one just almost landed in my mouth. They're all over the place in here. Don't really have a whole lot of knowledge about ladybugs. I guess we're going to have to get on the internet and start doing some hunting. And see what we can learn. But if there's anybody out there that might know something that we don't about ladybugs and why they would be you know congregating in our shed like this this is now actually the third time because the one time together we just ladybugs were every, everywhere while we were unloading the trailer and then i was out here alone one time and they just literally were covered in my truck and the in the back of the the trailer the the rv they were everywhere, and so this is the third time, but not the third day in a row. This has been going on now for a week. About a week. Probably about a, a week. So, if anybody's out there that knows, you can leave us a comment down below. We'd sure love to hear from you. Yeah. All right. Anyways, I guess, uh, what an introduction, huh? <laughs> okay. Welcome back to Berkshire Farm. My name's Frank. And I'm Jackie. And we are going to start removing Jackie's 72 inch tub and the shower pan with the shelf or seat I guess you would call it. We're going to remove those. We're going to get them out of the sheds and get them over to the barn dominium so that as they frame they can frame them perfectly to the tub and the shower pan. Yeah. So we'd love to bring you along with us Let's as we Trip on over to the house. All right. <laughs> First, got to unload all this stuff, though. Well, why don't we take that and just put it right on top of the um, trailer? On top of the trailer. Uh, on top of the trailer, right here. Because there's bob wire and there's all kinds of stuff that's going to get caught up in that. Caught up in what? In the fencing. Oh, I thought we just oh, take it all out. Oh, the whole mattress there. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, that's yeah. a pretty darn good idea. I hey. have them every once in a while. Although we got lots of ladybugs, we got to get rid of first. It's going to be too heavy for you. No, it won't. I carried it 
just an old mattress that came with our RV and we got it out of there and put in a, a good queen size mattress, pillow top mattress and we're just storing it in case we ever get rid of the RV we'll put that back in it. in the box to protect it? Yeah, yeah. Let's put it in the second bedroom.
All right, everybody. Well, as you can see, uh, we were able to bring the tub in and we couldn't put it just exactly where it was to go because the drain hole is really not big enough for that two inch pipe to slide in it and it's not designed to be. So it's setting about eight inches this way, but at least it gave us an idea of where it's gonna set in the bathroom. And then we you also saw how we had the shower pan. Now granted it was set up on these two by fours standing up because the pipe needs to be cut off as well. This is gonna be just find the way it, it's gonna work. He's gonna have to just dig down here and move this pipe over just a little bit. And I know that he's got plenty of room. It just needs to be moved over about, I'm gonna say probably three to four inches. It's this pipe right here. This one is completely off. It needs to be over here. It's about eight to nine inches off of where it's supposed to be. Because if it were over here in the wall, that would give us a true 36 inches in between this wall and the tub to fit a 34 inch door that would enter into the water closet. Yeah, or the, the toilet. The toilet. In, the, in the water closet. There'd be a 34 inch door into the water closet. So fortunately it's just one, it's just one item. It's just, fortunately, it's only just one pipe that needs to be corrected. I think it's a fairly easy fix. Now they are gonna have to, they're gonna have to bust up that concrete and get down to the soil where the pipe is and, and bring it over and then re-pour it. But other than that, I think it's gonna, the way that I had designed the bathroom is going to work. I think it's gonna be good, yeah. Had it just been laid out correctly, it's gonna work. So. about a five foot vanity between that wall and the wall of the shower, yep. which is perfect. That'll be nice. So, we'd love to thank you for joining us and clicking on our channel, and you get to see Jackie's big 72 inch tub finally come into the house. From this point on, uh, it's a matter of just framing around it and getting it right. And then after that, once the framing is done, they're gonna probably come in and start, doing, start laying all the plumbing in the walls. So, again, we're moving forward. If you don't mind, please, if you if you made it this far, would you mind, please, just take a, take a minute and click that like button, subscribe. We'd love for you to follow along with us on our on this Barnum and Bill. We're gonna we're gonna shoot every bit of footage that we can possibly get as this thing progresses forward, and we'd love for you to join us as our farm progresses forward. Yes. So until next time, God bless.